I'll be showing you step by step how to add a privacy policy to your Shopify store. So we'll do this in two steps here. First, we'll go and generate our privacy policy. Then we'll go add it to our footer menu so customers can go and find it. This is also important for sites such as Google as they want to make sure that it's located on your page. So let's start things off from our Shopify dashboard here. And on the left hand side menu, we're going to navigate to settings. It should be in the bottom left and a gear icon will be next to it. From there, we want to navigate on the left hand side menu again, going all the way down to policies. So this is going to open up the policy section for our store. We have a return policy here, but we want to pay attention to the section below it called privacy policy. Now Shopify has made this super easy. Rather than having to go contact a lawyer, although you still could in this case to generate one, they're going to have a pre-built template here and you can go in and fill in the details for your store. To note, I'm also not a lawyer, so I don't have an exact feel for the quality of this privacy policy, but Shopify does allow this generation for all their stores. So let's click create from template here. And it does say so at the top, note to merchant that if you're based in certain jurisdictions, you may need to change just to reflect certain disclosures. And this template is not legal advice. But as you can see here, it's generated quite a bit of information from this privacy policy. And we can go through and update things when necessary. For example, here it's going to be highlighted in yellow and it says note to merchant, insert the following sentence if you use Shopify's ad services such as Shopify audience. Here as well here, it's going to give you notes. It's going to make it really easy and make it stand out on what you should be filling out here in terms of customizations you can make. Well, let's assume everything is okay. You've updated that and it's okay for your jurisdiction. It does say please remove all the notes to merchants as you don't want to have them in here. But let's hit save in the top right. And that's going to save in your privacy policy. From there, I'm going to exit out of this window. I want to go and add this to the footer menu of my Shopify store so customers browsing the website can actually find it. On the left hand side menu, I'm going to click on online store. From there, I'm going to go down to navigation and we can see our existing menus. So we have two footer menus here. Let's just use the footer menu number one. So I'm going to remove these existing about us and privacy policy and let's go and add this in from scratch. I'm going to click on add menu item. I'm going to name this privacy policy. I'm going to search for the link here. If you click in here, it will open up some items you can select. If I click on policies, then the privacy policy that I just created. Next, I'll click add in the bottom right and I'll hit save at the top here to finalize this menu. Now let's go and actually preview if it's loaded. Under online store, I'm going to select that on the left hand side. This is going to open up my Shopify theme editor. If I go to customize here in the center of the page, on the left hand side menu here, if I open up footer, you can see there's nothing in the bottom here. So if I click add block, I can then go and add a menu. So that's added a menu here and we can see the footer menu is selected. If it's not, you can simply click change menu and select a different menu there. To finalize these changes, I'm going to hit save in the top right. And just like that, we've created a privacy policy and then added it to our footer menu of our Shopify theme. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where profit calc comes in the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations including all your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold options. It's going to give you a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can make smarter business decisions. You can get a 15-day free trial, so you can test drive everything for yourself. There's a link in the description below. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So this concludes the video here on how to add a privacy policy to your Shopify store. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.